Hi there everybody, this is Miss Nelson here and we are now doing lesson 2.6 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math book. Lesson 2.6 is all about multiplying using expanded form. So we're going to take what we know from chapter 1 where we learned how to write numbers in expanded form and put it together with what we learned in our last lesson about the distributive property to help us solve multiplication problems where we have big numbers like 143. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change 5 times 143 into a problem that I can solve easier by expanding 143 out. So my new problem is going to say 5 times and then in the parentheses is where I write my expanded form. 143 in expanded form is 100 plus 40 plus Three. So remember yesterday we know that now that we have broken up our number into three new numbers, we're going to have three multiplication problems to do. So our first one is going to be 5 times 100. So we did the 5 times this 100. Our next one will be 5 times our next number, which was 40. And then our last problem will be 5 times our last number, which was 3. Okay, so just like yesterday with the distributive property, they have some pictures here to help us figure this out. So they've drawn some rectangle boxes, and we're doing 5 times 100, 5 times 40, and 5 times 3. So our first step is always to start with the biggest number, which in this case is our hundreds. 5 times 100, I use my basic fact of 5 times 1, which is 5, and add my two zeros. So my first problem, 5 times 100, out of my three problems, gave me 500. So I write that there. Now you can see here I still have to solve two more multiplication problems before I get to my answer. So I'm going to write my 500 here because I already figured that out. And now I move on to my second multiplication problem, which is 5 times 40. Now I can still do my basic fact. 5 times 4 is 20. That's supposed to be a 2. And add my extra 0. So I now know 5 times 40 is 200. So here's my 500 from my first problem. Now I write my 200 from my second problem in here. And I can see now I just have one more problem to answer. 5 times 3. So here I would write in my answer for my first problem. Write in my answer for my second problem. 200. And then I just solve my last one, which is 5 times 3. That one's easy. 15. So there was my 500, there's my 200, my last answer is 15. Now I'm not done even though I've solved all three multiplication problems. My last step is to add those answers, those three answers, which we call partial products. So I'm going to do 500 plus 200 plus 15 to get my final answer to 5 times 143. So 0 plus 0 plus 5 is 5, 0 plus 0 plus 1 is 1, 5 plus 2 is 7. So my final answer is 715. So now they've colored in all three boxes because they've taken care of all three parts or partial products. Okay, I hope this helps you to understand how to multiply using expanded form.